One day my car broke down, so I rode the bus to work. And as I was getting off, I ran into Kurt. He's known around the office as a chauvinistic slut. He's always making sexist jokes and pinching women's butts. So he says he runs a carpool, and if I would like, I can have the middle seat and skip the bus tonight. And so I took his offer, I mean, how bad could it be? As soon as I got in the car, it was plain to see. Anyone who rides in this carpool is a fool Sure, it might save gas, but it's cruel and unusual Kurt is up front driving, acting like a dick If he doesn't shut up, I think I may be sick When a girl sits down, why is she taller than a man? It's cause she's sitting on a box and a great big can Ha, that means vagina, isn't that a gas? I don't understand why people think I'm such an ass What do you think of that hot new intern Haley? Gonna ask her out till a quarter to restrains me I just want to score, but the women all say no. So I spend the night alone, drunk and playing Halo. Anyone who rides in this carpool is a fool. Sure, it might save gas, but it's cruel and unusual. The janitor is sitting directly to my right. He looks like he's about to speak. I hope this goes all right. Hey, my name is Ralph, and I own a dozen ferrets. My clothes are kind of smelly, but I don't really care. It's because I don't remove their stink glands. Though I'm told I should. But that goes against nature, so that can not be good. Can't ride the public bus because I always reek a ferret. But the carpool doesn't seem to mind that y'all just grin and bear it. Most people say my smell is really rather vexing. But I think ferret pheromones are actually sexy. Anyone who rides in this carpool is a fool. Sure, it might save gas, but it's cruel and unusual. I am really nervous about what's coming next. Cause Tim the weirdo copy boy is sitting to my left. Nobody ever lets me speak, they just boss me around. I'm always either taking orders or being put down. But one day that will change, I'll have revenge, I swear. I have a thousand tiny elves living in my hair. They tell me I should hurt you all, they make it sound like fun. And I must admit I hate you with the fury of the sun. But for now I'll make the copies while talking to the elves. Until the day they talk me into sending you to hell. Anyone who rides in this carpool is a fool Sure, it might save gas, but it's cruel and unusual Tammy the receptionist thinks she is a cougar She's really just the middle-aged bitter slutty loser Hey there sexy new guy sitting on the middle hump It's okay to stare, you know you want these lady lumps Wait, did you just gag? Are you serious? You're not turned on, you must be gay or bi curious. You probably like Haley, that petite blonde little bitch. She won't have such perfect tits once she's had it, kids. It's fine if you don't want me, all the other men do. They know I'm down for SM and Bukaki too. Everybody in this car is a total freak. This guy might snap and kill us all, and this guy really stinks. Tammy's not nearly as hot as she thinks she is, and Kurt is an offensive, stupid, creepy piece of shit. It's clear you think you're better than every one of us But who's the guy that just this morning had to ride the bus? You sit there and you judge us, I'm surprised that you can't tell The people around the office think you're weird as hell They know you waste away your days playing video games Don't you realize that everybody thinks that's lame? You say you have a girlfriend, but I know you've never met Cause her screen name belongs to me on the internet Everyone who rides in this carpool's kinda cool We don't judge each other for being so unusual Eventually we'll get a van or a mini bus Then there'll be plenty of room for you to ride with us Oh yeah